In this lesson, we're going to focus on evaluating logs. So what is log base 2 of 16? What is that equal to? 2 raised to the what power is 16? How many 2's do you have to multiply to get to 16? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 4 times is 16. So therefore, 2 to the 4th is 16. So log base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. So now that you know that, what is log base 3 of 27? How many 3's do you need to multiply to get to 27? You need to multiply 3 3 times to get to 27. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So log base 3 of 27 is 3. Now what about log base 5 of 25? How many 5's do you have to multiply to get to 25? You need to multiply two 5's. 5 squared is 25. Now what about log base 4 of 1? Log of 1 is always equal to 0. What about log base 7 of 7? 7 to the first power is 7. So if these numbers are the same, they will cancel. It's simply 1. Now what is log of 1,000? What should you do if you're not given a base? If there is no base, it's always assumed to be a 10. So how many 10s do you have to multiply together to get to 1,000? You need to multiply 10 three times. This will give you three zeros, and that's equal to 1,000. So 10 to the third is 1,000, therefore log base 10 of 1,000 is 3. Now what about log base 10 of 100? 10 times 10 is 100, so you need to multiply two 10s to get to 100. So it's 2. Now what about log of 0 0.0001? What is that equal to? So the base is 10. It turns out that 10 to the negative 4 is 0 0.0001. So this is equal to negative 4. So here are some things to know. Log of 1 is always 0. Log of 10, when the base is 10, this is equal to 1. Notice the pattern. Log of 100 is equal to 2. And log of 1,000 is equal to 3. Notice that when you have two zeros, it's 2. Log 1,000, 1,000 has three zeros, this three. So based on that, what is the log of 1 million? Notice that there are six zeros. This is going to equal six. Log of 10,000 has four zeros, so this is equal to four. Now what about log of 0.1? This is negative one. Log of 0 0.01 is going to be negative two. Log of point 0, 0, 0,001, that's going to equal negative 3. And log of point 0, 0, 0, 0,0001 is equal to negative 4. Assuming, of course, the base is 10, which it is if no base is written. So keep that in mind. Now let's work on some other examples. Let's say if you were to see something that looks like this on a homework. What do you think the answer is? What is 7 log base 7 of 38 equal to. Whenever you see this, simply cancel the 7 and it's going to equal to whatever you see here, which is 38. So knowing that, try these two. What is 5 log base 5 of 14 and also 8 log base 8 of y? So this is going to equal 14. And this one is simply going to equal y. Now let's try some more examples. What is log base 3 of 9 equal to? Well we know we have to multiply two 3's to get to 9. 
3 squared is 9, so the answer is 2. Now, what is log base 9, I mean base 3, of 1 over 9? How will that change the answer? It turns out that this is going to be equal to negative 2. 3 squared is positive 9. 3 to the negative 2, you need to flip the fraction, it's going to be 1 over 9. The negative exponent will cause the 9 to move from the top to the bottom. Now what if you reverse the numbers? If log base 3 of 9 is 2, what's log base 9 of 3? So here's a hint, there's going to be a 2 involved. It turns out that it's 1 over 2. You need to flip the fraction if you reverse 3 and 9. And finally, what is log base 9 of 1 over 3? This is going to be negative 1 over 2. So anytime you have a fraction, notice that it's going to be negative. Anytime this number is larger, notice that you'll have a fraction. Now, if this number is larger than this one, not including the fraction, if you just compare 9 and 3, then the answer typically will be a number that's greater than 1. It's not going to be a fraction. Let's work on some more examples. Try these. Log base 2 of 32. Log base 2, 1 over 32. Log base 32 of 2. And log base 32, 1 over 2. Now, what is log base 2 of 32? How many 2's do you have to multiply? to get to 32. It takes 5 2's to get to 32. So this is 5. Now if 2 to the 5th is 32, that means 2 raised to the negative 5 is 1 over 32. So this is going to be negative 5. Now 32 raised to the what power is 2. It turns out that the 5th root of 32 is 2. So this is going to be 1 over 5. Now if 32 raised to the 1 over 5 is 2, 32 to the negative 1 over 5 is 1 over 2. And so that's this answer. So there's going to be a 5 somewhere. It's either positive 5 or negative 5. Positive 1 over 5 or negative 1 over 5. And if you convert it to its exponential form, it can help you to determine which answer is correct. So let me give you some practice problems, but mix in the order. Go ahead and find the answers to these questions. Two to the what power is eight? Two to the third power is eight. Two times two times two, three times is eight. Now we know that three squared is nine, but three raised to the negative two is one over nine, so that's negative two. The square root of 25 is five. So 25 raised to the one half is five. The square root of 64 is eight. So 64 raised to the one half is eight. Now we know 2 to the 4th is 16, so the 4th root of 16 is 2, so 16 raised to the 1 4th is 2, therefore 16 raised to the negative 1 4th is 1 over 2. Now 3 to the 4th is 81, so the 4th root of 81 is 3, so if 81 raised to the 1 4th is 3, 81 to the negative 1 4th is 1 over 3, and so that's this.